All right, guys. This is Randy. We're gonna uh, we're gonna shoot us a video on fuel pressure. Uh, it's a big topic. It's it's uh, probably number one cause of carburetors like Holley's and Edelbrox is flooding. Uh, too much fuel pressure is just really bad. The, the, even a good Holley usually seven pounds is teetering. So you need to stay down there if you can around six pounds and run a good volume. And six pounds of pressure will run just about anything. You can go up to seven, but you're you're right there on the edge. You can get you one of these little gauges right here from the store, local parts store, and it does vacuum on one side, and on the other side it does PSI for fuel pressure. And you can check it. You need to stay under seven PSI. On most street cars, I'd run six PSI. Now we got two different ways of controlling this fuel pressure. And a lot has to do with the fuel pump, but then we have regulators. We have like a little, this is a small little regulator for a regular street pump. The fuel comes in the bottom. It pushes up the diaphragm, which is a spring on top of the diaphragm. And then when it gets to that pressure, however we have it adjusted, it'll push it back down. It actually closes it off. All right, and we, the main thing here is to keep the fuel pressure at the right, right, PSI. We want to, if we can here, when we run our log across here on this holly, we want to put us a, a fuel pressure gauge on it. And a lot of them sell it with a little nipple for the fuel pressure gauge to screw into. <coughs> now this, this here is a small regulator. This is like, say, something for street. It usually, you know, regulates the fuel pressure, six, seven pounds, right around that area. And then we have over here, we have a big regulator on, a, on an actual racing type system. Uh, it's a little different the way it works. The fuel pressure actually enters through here at the top and it's open all the way across here to feed these lines out to the carburetor. Then when it gets up to a certain pressure, it just pushes it down and comes out the return line. These don't creep up like the old regulators do, these do. These are bad about creeping. If you got too much fuel pressure, it'll just keep slowly creeping up. And uh, these here with the return line, it, it just it lets the fuel just bypass and go right back to the tank. And it tends to keep the fuel a little cooler too. We don't sit there on top of the motor in this area all the time. Now, these here, usually we still run them around 6 to 7 PSI. Or we run them because they have a lot of volume coming out. They don't need no more than that. Uh, other than that, is you got to remember, you got to remember that this fuel pressure, if it's too much coming in this carburetor, it's going to run over this, the run over top of the bowl, come out the vent, go out the venturas through the booster, and uh, we we want to make sure we keep the fuel pressure. When you got one flood, don't all of a sudden just take it for granted. You got a bad float or a bad needle seat. Check your fuel pressure first. Remember, seven and under. We want a, around six psi for most motors, and if you maybe if you're drag racing, you might go up to six, six and a half, seven at the very most. Uh, that's with carburetion now, not fuel injection, just carburetion. All right, this is Randy. I just wanted to make a quick video to let you know about the the fuel pressure and how important it is. Uh, we'll talk to you later, and as always, guys, please comment and subscribe. And enjoy the video. Tell us if you enjoy the video. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you'll know every time when we shoot a new video. Thanks, guys. This is Randy.